YouTubers, I've had a couple of requests from people asking about these these dabber looking things that they see some Gyotaku artists using to dip into the ink and then to um, tap on the fish. And so I'd like to do a quick video showing you how to make these. They're very simple. Um, the word for these, if you're looking for them online, is tampos. T-A-M-P-O-S. It's a Japanese word. Apparently it's um, similar to the same word we use in English for tampons, which is kind of gross and kind of weird, but it is what it is. And basically, you can make these with any cylinder and any piece of foam and with tape or rubber bands. The bigger the fish, the bigger the cylinder, so that you can cover more area. The main problem that these solve is that when you're inking a fish with brushes, it can be very difficult to not leave the brush marks. And if you're using these tampos correctly, you're tapping them in the ink, and then sometimes you're tapping them on a piece of paper off, off of the ink to get the right amount of ink, and then you can tap them on the fish. And as you're moving it around on the fish and blending, there's no brush marks. So the simplest way to make these is with a wine cork and a cosmetic sponge. Uh, these are just the very uh, cheap ones that you can buy at Walmart in the cosmetic aisle. And uh, ideally you get the ones that don't have any additives in them, that they're just a nice little latex sponge. So you have those two, and then you can use rubber bands or a piece of masking tape. I prefer masking tape, and that's probably a 12 or 14 inch piece of tape. And I'll set this aside, and then I'll take my foam round and my wine cork. I'm going to put that right in the middle of it, and then I'm going to fold that over with my fingers so that it looks like one of those little flying nun hats. And then I'm going to take my piece of tape, and where my thumb is, I'll show you this in a second, I'm going to stick the tape mostly on the wine cork and just a little bit on the sponge. And then I'm going to wrap that around and I'm going to do a lap with my tape so that again uh, I've cut mostly the cork but just a little bit of the edge of the sponge. And again it looks like one of these little nun hats. Once I've done that lap and that's looking pretty good, then I'm going to take my fingers and push down uh, the other two sides and do the same. But notice when I do it this time, I have these four little corners and I'm gonna try to catch those with my tape as well and pull those down. Our goal is that we'll have a nice little mushroom top, kind of like a nice muffin that's, um, that's popped up outside of that um, muffin cup nicely. So as I roll it, sometimes, well, there's a couple different ways to do it. For this time, I'm just going to catch those other two opposite ends, and I'm going to do a lap. You do not want the tape to, do, to go too high up on the foam, because then it's, it's not nice and roundy like a muffin top, or like one of those mushroom bad guys in Super Mario Brothers. So I did my second lap, and you'll notice that I have four little corners now hanging off. On my third lap, I'm going to push those little corners down and catch them with the tape. Push, catch, push, catch, and you'll kind of grab and, and bend your tape down a little bit. Push, catch, push, catch. And I'm going to pull it around nice and tight. And there you go, that's a nice little tempo. You have the foam that comes around. The, pro the biggest problem you're going to get is that your, your tape will come up too high, and that's not good. You want a nice round top, even pressure around, and that's a nice looking tempo. Now if you want a little bit bigger of a tempo, you can use medicine bottles. This was a trick Heather Fortner uh, shared, um, and, and she's the guru. And the, typically the cosmetic sponges are a little too small for these, which is when you can take some headliner foam, uh, or any type of foam really, but you can get this at Joann's, or you can go down to your local uh, U-Pick um, junkyard. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off 
a strip of this stuff, maybe uh, two or, or three inches. Okay, and you can see this is pretty thin. This is, this is probably less than a quarter inch thick. And I'm going to cut a square. And because this is pretty thin, I'm actually going to cut two squares to make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to double these over on one another. Now on this foam, there's kind of a soft felty side and then there's the, the foamy side with the bubbles. We want the bubbles because that's what's going to absorb the ink and be able to distribute it on our, on our prints. Then I'm going to take the medicine bottle and it's pretty much just like um, the other uh, tamper. So I'm going to pinch them with my little nut, nun hat, pull off a piece of tape, and just like the wine cork with the cosmetic sponge, just like the wine cork with the cosmetic sponge, I'm going to pinch it to opposite corners. And since this is coming down so much, this is a little easier. I'm going to do one lap. So there I have my little nun hats. And I'm going to fold down the opposite two corners and tape it. And then I have some little straggler corners that I'm going to press down with the tape and tuck them in. And there you go, that's a bigger tamper. Now, sometimes, like when I press on this one, you have to be careful uh, because if you don't want to catch the edge of the plastic, you want it to be nice and uh, light. So uh, there's a couple different options. One, you can just have a light strike and this one will be fine. But if you're more of a heavy striker, you may want to make these with just a little bit more of a, you could take one more piece of foam and put it underneath in that cap. Uh, just to make it a little roundy. You could even take one of these cosmetic sponges and put it on the square. In fact, since you're already here, let's do that and see how it works. So, there's our two inch square. Here is a medicine bottle. This one's a little smaller, but that's fine. I'm going to put my cosmetic sponge on there. And then my piece of foam. It's all centered. Pull my piece of tape, you should pull your piece of tape first, then you're not flopping all over the place. And same exact thing. I've got one piece of foam and one cosmetic sponge here, but you could do one sponge and um, two pieces of foam. It's really, it's not that scientific. Sometimes you can wrap around and catch your other two corners, uh, your other two edges along with the corners together. And again, nice little mushroom top. That would be good. And that feels nice. To me, that feels a little nicer than that first one that we made. But that's the basic idea. You want a nice round top, lots of sponge. When you touch it, you're not, you're not touching the edge of the cylinder, and that's going to be a nice tempo for inking your fish. This is my first uh, YouTube video. Uh, I'm sure it could be a lot better. I've got my cell phone sticking in a toilet paper tube on a rubber band. Uh, but hopefully get, that got the job done enough for you to figure these out. And uh, this video was made by request of uh, Courtney Hemrick out in California. And you may know him as the guy on the news who had the selfie stick uh, following himself with a great white shark. So. Uh, he lived to ask how to make tampos. And there you go, Court. Thanks. Is it still filming? If it's still filming, keep going. Let it keep filming. Yeah, it's still going. I should also say, if you're interested in this, or if you're interested in any of my work, um, you can find me online at The Mighty Bluegill on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and I'm um, working on a website of my own. So um, feel free to check that out as well. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Thanks, Dana.